Hey there, and welcome to day 21 of the challenge, moving right along here. So today, I wanna to talk to you about your list subscription funnel. We've already talked about the fact that you wanna get people onto your email list. Now, usually what happens is we tend to focus primarily on the opt-in forms, and we tend to forget that there's other steps to the process, and there's also some things in there that you can optimize in order to get them to do other things, because when they get onto your list, that actually is a transaction that they're embarking on with you. Even though there's no money changing hands, they're still basically buying something. So there's some opportunity there, but there's also some other things that you have to do beyond just getting them to hit the submit button. So let's go to the screen for a minute and let's talk about that. So let's look at the steps of the opt-in funnel here. One is that you obviously have the opt-in form itself. That part goes without saying. You can either have a bribe there or not have a bribe there, but that part should be fairly obvious by now. Next is you have the confirmation page. Now this is where they go after they hit the submit button on your opt-in form. So it's generally going to say, hey, you need to confirm your email, something to that effect. Now once they are on that, they're also gonna get triggered a confirmation email now, that email is yet another step of the opt-in funnel here. Now, you definitely don't want to do a whole lot on that email because you really just want them to get them to click that link. That's pretty much it, but it is a step. See, the confirmation is important. You want to optimize that, set, that step of this process because if they don't confirm themselves, they're really not going to become a subscriber so you really haven't accomplished anything. Now, once they click that link, then they go to a thank you page. Now, again, this is a prime opportunity to do some interesting things because they are now a subscriber. And then you, they're also going to get triggered a welcome email, or at least they should be getting a welcome email, which would be the very first message of your autoresponder. And th again, this is some interesting opportunities here with that welcome email. So let's talk about those last four steps. The confirmation page, again, is where they go after they initially click the opt-in form submit button. The purpose here is to get them to confirm immediately. You want them to not let grass grow under their feet. Now what you see here is a screenshot of a uh, the confirmation page that I have over on my tech site at pcmech.com. So you can see it says, you know, Almost done, one more thing, an email's on its way to you. I want that to be very, very clear. You'll also see that I've got this picture here. I really want to make it so obvious what this is gonna look like. So I've got that there, shows in the subject line where it's gonna be sent from. It says confirm your email address. And another thing that you'll see that I do is that I provide direct links to the top three web-based email services. A lot of people use these web-based emails, so I wanna make it, again, easy as pie for them to do that, so I provide direct links. Now, obviously, if they're using a program like Outlook or something like that, I'm not gonna be able to help them. Now, the next step is the confirmation email itself. This is a singular purpose. All you want them to do is click the link to confirm. So don't talk about any other stuff in this email. Just tell them to click the link. Now, I should have mentioned on that prior slide that another thing that you can do, and I think I do this on davidrisley.com, is that you can have a video on that page that tells them exactly what to do. And have the, I would probably have that video autoplay at that point because you really want to get them to take notice of this right away and you know that's one of those situations where auto playing the video i think makes sense all right so you come to the thank you page after they've confirmed their subscription now this is very valuable real estate because they've now basically bought from you there's no money here but they've basically and and subscribed to you that's a kind of a big deal so at this point you want to think upsells and now I have upsells and quotes here on this slide because you're not really selling them anything necessarily. However, um, it's the same kind of an idea as if they did buy something that you might try to upsell them into something else. So some ideas here would be things like free trials or maybe discounts on products just to make them feel like they just got some value out of subscribing to you. Uh, you can also just do something like, uh, you know, fill in a quick survey, let me know how I can best deliver for you, things like this. But you can do some valuable things with that thank you page. And then you got the welcome email. And this is where you want to set the stage for what they should expect from you on being on your list. So tell them what you're going to deliver to them, really make it valuable for them, and also let them know approximately how often you're going to be emailing them so that they don't get been out of shape over anything like that. And also a little hint here is that you can leave some open loops 
so that you can get them to anticipate what you're going to be sending them. So basically an open loop is basically where you allude to something that's coming later, but you don't close that cycle. You basically are opening up a brand new uh, cycle of action, but you're not completing it for them. So it's going to get them to want to look for the other emails in order to, you know, find out what these things are. So that gets them to look ahead, look forward to the emails that you're going to be sending them. So those are some ways to optimize your list subscription funnel. I encourage you to definitely go through your own funnel, find out where you might be dropping the ball and where you might have some opportunities to make the thing more efficient and deliver things for you, as well as set proper expectations for your new subscribers so you can deliver optimum value to them. So I will see you tomorrow.